has got his Bud Light on his bike. He's got his essentials. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to Roddy's Rides. I'm your host, Roddy here. First of all, I wanna start off with this uh, little video saying that um, we are actually filming on my buddy Tanner's camera, so he's actually nice enough to let us use his camera setup and his camera gear. Uh, expect better film quality, and hopefully my filming skills get a little bit better as time goes on. Like last video, if you haven't watched the last video, go back and watch it. It's actually how I wash my car as a college kid, since I don't have the opportunity to wash at a house or a hose or any of that stuff. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, uh, my hair super long, it needs to be shaved. So if you could help me hit 569 subscribers by the end of December I will shave my head so if you want to see that change go down and change the subscribe button from red to white okay also next Saturday is December 11th and um, I actually have a dyno visit and so I'm very excited about that but if you want to know the what uh, numbers this car is making and how much horsepower this car is making go down and subscribe so you don't miss next week's video so with that being said let's get into today's video all right, so in today's video, we will be uh, trying to fix, look at that out way. We'll be trying to fix this little tear in my leather seat. These are the uh, products I went to go uh, uh, pick up to pretty much film this video. I just picked this up at Walmart. It was like $3. Uh, I bought it mostly because the uh, curved hooks, because that's gonna help us the most. And also this is a, uh, uh, kit off Amazon, I believe and we're gonna be using a mixture of these two products and maybe a little bit of This gorilla glue to help seal all this together. So starting off. I don't know which needle. I'm actually going to start off with Because uh, you're probably thinking I have a little bit of experience with this, but I actually have no experience with this I mean, I, I played operation as a kid. I got zapped a couple times, but I mean I, I never slowed me down looking at our string colors um, I'm gonna try and go with this color so I'm gonna give this a shot. Wish me luck, please. So uh, I actually forgot to click the record button on the actual time lapse. So how I ended it off is I passed over, if it will focus for me, I passed over um, uh, the top just cause it was getting so tight that I couldn't use, um, uh, or the basic sewing knot, the tie underneath so where you can't see it. So um, I'm actually really happy with this. Yes, there is one string showing up on top, but that's okay with me. Um, it does kind of look a little funky because of all the original stitching holes. But you know, from far away, I mean, you can't even tell that there was an actual rip in the car or in the leather seat. So you know, this looks a lot better than what I'm started with, so I'm really happy. So opening up, this is gonna be a better example. So here's the leather. So pretty much the best way to explain this is with taking my J needle, not J hook, Brandon. Um, what I did was I went through this hole and pushed down. So I came underneath over here and tried my best to come out right where this uh, previous existing thread was. So when I pulled up, what I did was instead of crossing again, I came up to the next one. So it came over like this and then I went underneath over here to this back one and then I went up to the next one, went underneath to uh, this one, went over, underneath, over there, and then I went here, underneath. And then, so basically that's what I did. And so once I got all the way down to the end, when I hit all of the pins, I took the string and went back underneath and I was able to loop it and then pull it through. So it kind of make a knot. But my problem was, was when I started doing this, when I was, the way I worked down, the more and more I kept pulling, the more and more I kept closing. So give yourself a lot of slack so you can uh, do a fine adjust and also tie a knot off because I tied a, a knot off down here towards the end and then towards the end of the video where you do see, uh, you see the leftover string. So what I did there was um, 
Uh, I didn't know how to go underneath and it was too tight and I didn't want to pull on it to potentially rip the leather. So what I did was, was I just went over and then went through and then I was able to make a loop. So I pulled that through to tighten it and then I cut it. So that's a better example because also in the time lapses, my hat is in the way. So round of applause for me. Good job, Brandon. So after the, whoa. So after reviewing this footage, I noticed that my hat is in the like majority of the time lapses blocking the entire thing. So I'm sorry about that. But um, please forgive me. This is my first time using this camera setup. And there was two times where I forgot to click record. So I had the camera on, but I wasn't recording. So I was just wasting battery and sunlight. But um, the seat actually turned out looking really good. And uh, I'm, I just needed to unbin my diffuser and retighten my chin spuller. So I feel a little bit better. I got some more progress done on the car. So if you made it this far in the video, I appreciate you. You're one of the real people that actually watch me. So um, if you guys haven't already, go down, subscribe, like if you learned something new. Um, and yeah, Ruddy Rides is out of here. Bye y'all.